Now, uh, in looking at what actually keeps uh, aeroplanes up, we can just look at this shape of the wing, uh, which is a cross-section of, of an aircraft wing, and think of the air passing over the wing rather than the wing passing through the air. The results will be the same. And in fact, in wind tunnels, of course, the, the wing is held stationary and the air is blown past it. So if you get that picture to begin with, you'll see that the air has to divide some of it over the top and some of it underneath. And the air that goes over the top uh, produces certain effects in combination with the air that goes underneath that uh, does, in fact, affect the lift and produces the upward force in the wing. Now, to explain that, we have first a little experiment that we'll show you called a Venturi tube. And if I come around and uh, turn the machine on, you can see what happens. This is, this is water flow, not air, but the arrangement and the results will be similar. Now, we have a tube here which is shaped in a particular way. It's not the same section everywhere. There's a narrow throat at that point, and there is a, a wide section that inlet and a wide section that outlet. In fact, the water is now flowing through it. The valve, I think, is open. And you can see from these tubes, which are attached to holes at the top of the, of the mainstream tube, that the pressure, in fact, is different in different sections of the tube. Where the tube is narrow, the water must be going faster, because the water is virtually incompressible. So here is fast-flowing water at the neck and slow-flowing water at the two ends of the tube. And the difference in the pressure is shown by the level of the liquids, which you can see in the tubes. Here, the, the pressure is low. It's not holding up much column of liquid. And here, the pressure is higher. So we would conclude from that that the faster that the liquid goes, then the less the pressure. And in fact, it is that basic idea that keeps the aeroplane up, as uh, we looked at the wing a few minutes ago. The mathematical form of the result is shown on the slide there, which relates the velocity of the flow, which is um, u, to the pressure in the relationship of, of that kind. It's called Bernoulli's law. And it says that if the pressure goes up, um, let me say that again, if the velocity goes up, then the pressure will go down, and conversely. So where the water or the air is flowing faster, that will be the lower pressure. And in fact, that effect is, uh, is what keeps the, the wing up. When the air divides over the wing, it has to travel rather faster on the top section than it does underneath. And the difference between the two pressures provides the lift. <laughs>